The Gross Hill Parkway Bridge is safe enough to stay open even with evidence of significant deterioration. That is what residents who depend on the bridge heard tonight from experts at a public hearing. In 2020, the 90 year old bridge at the center of a seven action news investigation was shut down for a year and a half to make way for emergency repairs. Well, tonight, seven action news reporter Alex Bazarjian tells us some people are skeptical despite hearing the bridge is safe. In 2020, contractors literally had to be rushed off this bridge because there was an emergency issue with the foundation. Now, that foundation would normally be inspected every 60 months, but because of the condition of this bridge, they've shaved that cycle down to 24 months. Do you leave this meeting feeling any more confident about the safety of that bridge? Not really. Thomas Hill lives in nearby Trenton. He's one of the 16,000 vehicles that cross the Parkway Bridge daily. We live here. There's 10,000 people. We all use this bridge. We all need this bridge. Seven investigators were the first to discover Wayne County's failure to conduct the required underwater inspections of the bridge between 2007 and 2017. An outside engineering firm hired to review current inspections say the top half of the bridge is in fair condition. The underwater part is worse off. This bridge itself is, is rated uh, four poor condition or five fair condition. And as far as the traveling public, it's not ideal, but I don't see it as a safety concern. Presenters from the engineer group based their findings on existing documents and reports. They did not conduct their own inspection. Wouldn't this make more sense to have a meeting is not with the engineers that wrote the report? Wouldn't it make more sense to talk to the people that actually did the inspection? I and mean, what did you take out of that presentation? Well, we talked about the superstructure, which is above the water. The, the important part is what that superstructure sits on, which is the underwater. The foundation is the largest area of concern, according to engineers, and will need to be monitored at increased frequency. Residents wanted to know with repairs what the bridge's life expectancy would be. They did two significant repairs, actually. Right, uh, yeah. two. Yeah. And it, Im it improved the condition of the bridge, but you can't just stop there. You've got to keep going. So, um, I mean, it's not an easy... Answer. Wayne County owns a bridge, then they need, they need to be brought here and put on the spot. Wayne County did say they would hold a question and answer session for residents in 2023. In Gross Eel, I'm Alex Bozargian for 7 Action News. All right.